So let's get into a little more some of the top myths that I see out there that are very prevalent. They're basically just myths and limiting beliefs that I hear all the time when it's time for people to actually start their own online business. So specifically how to package their knowledge, skills, and experiences into a solution that people actually pay for. There's a lot of common myths out there that people have trouble getting over this hump and realizing that yes, they too can actually create an online business and a loyal following that will actually pay them for their knowledge, skills, advice, how-to information, or whatever that may be. So let's look at look at a few of those top myths now. Okay, so there are a lot of different variations of these myths, but they really all boil down into a few that I've heard over and over again, and I've experienced them myself, so I know where you're coming from. The first one says, you know, I'm no expert. Who am I to be creating this online business and portraying myself as an expert in whatever field it is, and maybe I don't have the credibility to position myself and actually put myself out there as someone who has this knowledge and experience and a solution that works and the ability to help people. So that's the first one. And then following up with that is people say, oh, I need all these results first or I need to have this amazing credibility as an expert for all these years or be successful in a previous business related to that topic before I can launch an online business, before I can sell my products or services out there and actually call myself an expert. And then the third one is usually around what's involved in setting all this up. You know, I don't know how to set up this whole online business thing. I can't figure all this stuff out. How to set up a website, how to set up a shopping cart, how to create all these products online how to automate it you know I'm just not familiar with this whole new internet economy this online internet landscape or whatever you want to call it those are the three most common myths that I hear all the time and what I would say to those is what you need to do is just recognize that they're just myths and they're your limiting beliefs and that you need to get over them right now that's that's it in a nutshell I experienced these same beliefs and so have hundreds and thousands of other people when they were just starting out with their online business. And what we all need to realize is that if we do have a level of knowledge, skill, or experience in any field, no matter what it is, then we are an expert in our own way. And again, our audience is going to be attracted to us based on the messages that we're putting out whether it's on Facebook or Twitter or putting out some YouTube videos or blog posts or any articles that you may write you need to realize that your audience will be attracted to you based on who you are your personality and the information and value that you put out so you don't need to concern yourself with you know, how am I going to reach the masses and be seen as this huge expert on this topic with all these results? And, you know, it doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't have to be that big, at least not in the beginning. So just realize that whatever you do your research on based on your past experience and expertise, or even if it's something new that you want to learn and become an expert on and then go out and teach and help people with, that that in itself is enough as long as you infuse your own personality into it and put value out there that you're going to attract an audience you are going to get some results helping people with whatever it is that you're teaching and then that's where the credibility is going to come in you don't need tens or hundreds or thousands of people giving you these raving testimonials where they made millions of dollars or you tr transformed their life in some certain way in order to have any credibility and be seen as an expert. You just need to have some value that you put out. You need to help some people with it. And that's all the credibility that you need. And as far as figuring out all this internet economy, technical landscape stuff, you know, there are a couple ways you can do it. One, you either determine that you do want to learn this stuff and you will get over that limiting belief and you'll learn it and then you'll do it yourself and that's fine and I have no doubt that you can and will do that if that's the right path for you and then the other path is there are a lot of people out there that know how to do this stuff that if it's not worth your time effort and frustration to learn it all it can easily be outsourced most of this stuff you would be the content creator where you're providing whatever value you provide 
but then you can easily hire some other people out there to do all this technical stuff if you determine that's not what you want to be doing you don't want to be spending your time there whether it's creating a website or a blog whether it's editing a video that you shot where you convey your message to your audience whether it's setting up a shopping cart to actually sell your products and services all that type of stuff can be done for you and believe it or not the prices on these things have come down so drastically in the last few years because of all these technological advances that there are all these websites out there like Fiverr and Odesk and Elance and all these other places that you can find people that can do all these things for you at a relatively affordable rate so I'll get into more of that in the future and help you with that if if you need that help if you decide it's not for you to learn and spend all your time doing this stuff but again those are the most common myths and again limiting beliefs there is something that you just need to get over and know that if you really determine that this is what you want to do create this profitable online business help people with your message your knowledge skills and experiences that there are a couple ways to go about it and you will be able to do that